Thanks for stopping by CSEC Biology at the TCP. Today we're going to be looking at the CSEC Human and Social Biology, January 2020. Question number six on that paper. Of course, we're going to be distinguishing between HIV and AIDS. Now, HIV is a virus that weakens the immune system. It is because of HIV that ones end up with AIDS if the HIV is not treated. While AIDS refers to that set of symptoms caused by HIV, a person is affected by HIV first, and then if it's not treated, then the condition of AIDS develops. So it means, therefore, that the pathogen responsible for AIDS is, of course, the HIV, and the condition that results as a result of this pathogen HIV is, of course, AIDS. Move on down to the other question. Identify the immune cell in the body that is destroyed in the untreated HIV patient and state how the patient is affected as a result. Now we know that it is a T lymphocyte, those white blood cells are the immune cells that are destroyed by HIV. Now this causes the immune system to be weakened and expose the individual to that which we refer to as opportunistic infection, pneumonia, tuberculosis, that type of a thing. Now, it's very important that if one is affected by HIV, that they be treated at the earliest possible time so that the condition will not move on into AIDS. Stay two symptoms of AIDS are two symptoms that an AIDS patient is likely to exhibit. Now it's very important to note here that there is a difference between symptom and signs. Now signs refer to those things that you'll be able to see, but the symptoms on the other hand refer to those things that the patient will have to tell you about. You have to be very careful with this question because in most cases we are going to be writing the sign. So the symptom Unexplained tiredness, muscle aches, and fatigue. I deliberately wrote these in capital to point out the fact that signs and symptom they are not the same thing. And for this question, it is looking at the symptoms and not the sign. You are watching CSEC Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. When you subscribe, please be reminded to hit that notification bell and select all. Also, join us on a Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for live classes on YouTube. And we're streaming from Kingston, Jamaica, 5.05 p.m. The following is a quotation from Dr. Elin. Counting on condoms is flirting with debt. Comment on the truthfulness of his statement. Now the statement is indeed true. Condoms may safeguard against pregnancy and some STIs. However, they come with limitation that can without warning expose individuals to STIs. Now if a condom is not properly stored, it may burst during use and cause exposure. If a condom is not properly put on, it may also burst and cause exposure. If a condom is removed during use, that will also cause exposure. Condoms may also slide off during use and again cause exposure to STIs. Hence, using a condom is indeed flirting with death as it, the challenges the limitations are so great that any day any time if it can as murphy would say one day it might just very well happen so i strongly think that counting on condoms is definitely flirting with your life you're watching CSEC Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course, subscribe. When you subscribe, click that notification bell and select all 
so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication please be reminded to join us on a wednesday friday and sunday at 5 or 5 p.m on youtube for live classes and past papers and we're streaming from kingston jamaica 13 to 15 percent of women whose partner use condoms as the only method of contraceptive becomes pregnant within a year recommend two other reliable contraceptive methods that can be used along with a condom all right so the, it is actually contraceptive method that we're looking at here not just spermicidal gel so we could use the iud interuterine device while we're using a condom and we could also use a contraceptive pill while using a condom in some cases spermicidal gels can be used as the gels will of course kill the sperm should they escape so these are some other alternative uh, contraceptive that can be used with the condom so of course using the iud you still can use a condom using the contraceptive pill you still can use a condom as in most cases persons are thinking about uh, sti as a case of the family might be thinking about pregnancy so if the condom is not effective if we want to do both protect against sti and the pregnancy then it would be wise to use a condom with another contraceptive method kim is in a monogamous sexual relationship with Brandon. She does not use illegal intravenous drugs, and this ref refers to drugs that is injected into the bloodstream. However, Brandon does. Kim feels confident that her lifestyle choices mean that her risk of contracting HIV is low. Should Kim feel confident that her risk of contracting HIV is low? State two reasons for your answer. No, she should not feel safe. Reason? Her significant other may share needles. This will expose him to possibly STIs if persons are infected that can be passed on to her the other reason is that the influence of drugs may cause him to have sexual contact with infected persons and pass on the sti to her it must also be reminded that there's a great possibility of hepatitis and blood poisoning while sharing needles thanks much for watching csec biology the cover page please be reminded to like share and subscribe and when you subscribe click that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified when there is a new publication also join us on a wednesday friday and sunday for live classes at 5 5 p.m on youtube and we are streaming from kingston jamaica